Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to build another Christmas related tutorial. This is actually related to Home Alone and uh, more specifically this is how to build Kevin, the pop vinyl version from of course Home Alone in Minecraft. So here we have Kevin the pop and if you haven't seen that one before hopefully I can edit it on the screen now and just show you a little bit of a reference because it does kind of look like the way I built him he is holding some type of shotgun and a knife or something so that is definitely not what we're going for here that is a an iron <laughs> a steam iron and that is a bb uh, rifle from buzz's room so uh please just you know bear with my building a little bit hopefully it doesn't look like that but just in case that is a bb and that is a steam iron so all good there but yeah here is kevin he is very very tall uh he actually stands above the mansion sort of height the mansion is just there um but um yeah kevin is very very tall here I went ahead and built the pot vinyl scale um, very big for Minecraft, but you know, it kind of needs to match up with all my other pops. So, um, Kevin is actually a lot shorter than, say, Captain America the pot vinyl because, you know, the cap is an adult and Kevin is a kid. So, we're trying to get that sort of differentiation a little bit in there as well. So, yeah, here is Kevin. He is standing nice and tall and nice and uh, ready to defend. This tutorial was requested by a legend called Charlie and I just want to give a huge shout out to Charlie for this awesome request. Um, it was really weird actually. Uh, Charlie and I were kind of discussing some uh, tutorials to do and whatnot and he said about um, uh, the gingerbread house but I'd already ended up filming that one before his request so I couldn't actually put it in the video unfortunately. But then he mentioned the sort of Kevin statue and um, I was like you know what I'm actually filming one currently so I'll just drop you in this video and it'll be an awesome sort of thing to add in so big shout out to charlie thank you so much for supporting my videos bro and um yeah i hope you enjoy the build as we have a very very lot of bricks and uh, blocks to place today i'm going to be doing this in steps so this is step number one how to build kevin's shoes let's go ahead and take some spruce wood stairs some spruce wood planks and some spruce wood uh slabs i'm going to go just besides my original kevin just to get this on point i'm going to go ahead and build kevin's shoes so we'll go ahead and start with five blocks of plain and simple spruce wood that is six <laughs> five just like so then we're going to come around the back for about uh, let's go for two like so we might be able to i oh know we just keep it two for now i was going to say we might be able to make it three later but no two is all good let's go ahead and build five down this side as well like so and then we'll do two out the front then we want to go ahead and leave a block of three from this five one two three then we'll do five in line with the other five two two and then five this side so we almost make like a vessel sort of shape so it looks like a little bit of a boat sort of um uh hull i guess you could say then we'll go ahead and take ourselves our slab we want to go ahead and first use uh let's go yeah let's go ahead and use one two three four blocks here and four blocks here first before we use our slabs four four like so then we use ourselves a slab here just on the second kind of blocks back on both lots of shoes so nice and symmetrical whichever way you do this then we want to go ahead and make the back also worth two blocks in height like so so now we can go ahead and build ourselves two blocks in here and two slabs on top two blocks here two slabs on top then we'll finally take ourselves two blocks in here two stairs one on both sides so like this with the blocks in between them and then for the front you just do yourself two stairs kind of back to back up in here like so awesome at the back all we need to do to finish this up is just quickly smooth over this sort of six block shape in here and that only allows us to place in our trouser legs which will come in in step two so yep that is looking all good just make sure you've got enough space to build in your trouser leg which is going to be worth just this block here then you sort of miss out this corner and then you go back here for these two missing out those two so on and so forth so we build a bit of a, a star looking shape well it's actually like an addition sign um, up on the top of the shoes but yeah you should be left with these strange looking <laughs> features in here uh, and that is looking great let's go ahead and take our next material which is for the trousers so for step two we will take ourselves some exposed copper some waxed exposed cut copper and some exposed cut copper stairs let's firstly use our waxed exposed um, cut copper and we'll go ahead and build that plus sign that was on about just uh, a bit of a thick plus sign like so and then we'll do the same over here bear in mind what you want want to do to one trouser leg you do to the other as well same with the shoes 
Next we'll take some exposed um, copper and we'll build from this point here upwards to nine and that is going to be the height of our trouser leg. So two, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine blocks in total of the exposed copper missing out this waxed exposed cut copper. Then you do nine just here and you do nine this other side as well. We'll do the same on the opposite side. So straight up to nine blocks in height. Oh, that's 10. Nine blocks. Yep. And then here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Same over here. Like that. And then we want to go ahead and make this a bit more 3D. So we're going to come out the back a little bit. So we'll go around to the back and we'll build out for one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We also want to build these up to nine. Here and then here as well. Here and then here too, like so. We'll do the back first and then we'll work around the front. So we're going to do the next one going from this block here, so the second block up on your exposed copper. We'll go ahead and build this straight up to what is our ninth height, but we start on uh, the second one up, so it's only eight blocks we add in. Then we'll go ahead and add in ourselves about two blocks here and two blocks here. Then we'll go ahead and build behind this for two and two. Then we'll come back to this from the back and we'll build in ourselves one, two, and then we'll go for one, two, three. Then we'll drop down for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, like so. So then the next step is to connect them just by adding in a block just here. Oops, sorry, that is supposed to be exposed copper. Then we take our exposed cut copper stairs and we build the second block in and go all the way along to the ending block, the second to last block, just here. Then up here, we want to add in ourselves another exposed copper and one this side and add in another stair, so diagonally up from the lot in the middle. We also do the same here, like so, and here as well, like so. Wicked. Then we'll drop down here and on top of this exposed uh, copper we add in one and one and build back for one on both sides like so. Then we go through the gap and we go ahead and build ourselves around the uh, the sides of the trouser legs. So now we're onto this area over here. I'm going to go ahead and knock off this block now. I'm also going to knock off that block. Just because we've stuck the stairs on kind of floating we don't need to add any blocks in until the red comes in for the for the jumper later. We'll do the same here though, we'll add in a temporary block for a stair there, knock out that one, same over this way, like so. So for the front, let's take some exposed copper, go on top of the slabs and you should just be able to place these and they'll go the sort of block up, which is perfect. Same here and here, and then we'll place in a block here and here, like so. Awesome. Now we're going to build these ones up to the height of 9, and then this one as well. Then we'll do the same with these two. And this one and then we'll go ahead and start on the second one up so we only add in a total of eight I think one two three four five six seven eight perfect and here as well so basically doing the same what we did on the back to the front cool then we want to go ahead and bring these ones forward just by one two on both sides all the way up just to get to this gap here and you build this forward as well like so, and you can actually build this entire way like that. Now up here we'll add in two, two, and then one in the center. Then we just want to add in our stairs, which are going to go for the sort of second block back in, all the way along here to the second to last block here. And then we'll add in our temporary block to place stairs, knocking out the temp. Temporary block to place stairs, knock out the temp. There you have Kevin's trouser legs ready to go for the torso. Firstly, let's just go ahead, sorry, lastly, <laughs> let's go ahead and smooth this over. Uh, if you're not going to use it the inside, you may as well smooth it over because we can uh, place some concrete powder on top of this and it won't fall through. So there we go. Looking good. Let's move on to step three, building Kevin's torso. Now then, for the torso, I will be uh, warning you guys, it does get a little bit tricky. So please remember to pause the video if you need to and comment any questions you may have down below. That'd be awesome. Let's take ourselves some red uh, concrete powder, some red wool, some barriers, which you acquire in uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm pretty sure it's the same in Java, but I'm not 100%. Uh, by opening your chat window, and then you go ahead and type in this box here, slash, 
give at s, which is going to be yourself, and then barrier. Literally just barrier. Plain and simple. Make sure you write it exactly the same as I have. And then once you enter this one, it should say in the top left corner, you have given one barrier and then two myself. And then uh, it doesn't just mean the one, by the way. It means you've given yourself infinite of these, which you can place around your world. Please bear in mind that when you are holding the barriers, you can see them, the placed ones. When you're not, it goes invisible. Also remember that when you're playing in survival and you've placed these in creative, they cannot be destroyed in survival mode. So please be aware of that, just in case, you know, you sort of block yourself in, change the survival, you can no longer escape. So <laughs> definitely uh, be, be wary of that. And you're also going to need yourself some stripped birch wood. Now let's take ourselves some red wool and we'll go to start on this stair here and one here. Then we'll place a concrete powder on this side. We'll actually work on this side first of all. So we'll place a red wool and another concrete powder here. Red wool, concrete powder just here. So now we have three and we're trying to get to about five concrete powders. So four like so. Oh, sorry, five like so. So we end it on a concrete powder up there. Then we're going to do the same in here. So we're just going to alternate until we reach five concrete powders here as well. We basically do this around the entire jumper, which is very, very helpful and uh, kind of makes the process a lot quicker for us, which is brilliant. That's what we're going for. Now, I usually would skip the video on here just because this is a little bit of a boring section, but I think once we move on to the arms, it does sort of change pattern just slightly. And so we need to sort of know where we're doubling up certain materials. So for now, though, just keep your sequence going if possible, making sure you've got neither of the two materials connecting other than diagonal at any point like so. Then we'll do it here as well. We'll go for a uh, we're going to start with a wool and go up here. Then here we'll start with a concrete powder. So on and so forth until we reach the top up here. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the second block back in on the, on the middle of the torso and just build two blocks here. So, you know, alternating between the two that you've got below. Then we'll do the same over here. Red wool, red concrete powder. Then we'll come to here and we'll add in three stripped birch woods and then three just here like so, filling in that little gap for the neck. Awesome. Now you can stick a red wool in this gap if you want to and stick a concrete powder on top. And this side we'll just do a red wool and a red wall, like so. Cool! So the start of uh, Kevin's torso is almost there, which is great. Now we're going to go around this, the corner here, and I'd just quickly like to check under the arm if we can, just to see if it alternates the exact same as the uh, the front there. So pretty much the exact same, we just do the, the whole pattern that we've got here, and on this side we're going to start with the opposite of that material. So let's just check this side. Yep, the opposite of that material. So we start both sides with concrete powder, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get that done. So if we go ahead and place ourselves red wool in here, 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 and here. Then our concrete powder goes here, here, and here, 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 and here. And then we just start our pattern on both sides. So again, alternating between both of your materials, making sure that they never connect wherever they go. So pretty simple stuff. I'm going to do this, like I said, with you guys just to be on the safe side for everyone, just so we don't make a mistake because I know if I'm not filming I'm going to make a huge mistake and it will be devastating so <laughs> make sure I'm filming this part just so I don't mess up let's do this get in there now almost there right there we go that'll do for now and this just gives us a starting point for our arms so what we're going to do first of all is go to the second block back on your sort of side here and we want to go to the top here where we've got like a concrete powder already. Now we're going to stick a wool just here in line with that concrete powder on the side of the body. Then we'll stick a concrete powder on top. Then we'll drop below and we'll leave a space and stick a red wool. Then we'll stick a concrete powder in the gap. Here we want to stick another concrete powder, but again, we can't have it floating in midair. So we're going to have to stick a red wool temporarily and one there. Knock it out, replace it with your concrete powder. Then we'll go for a red wall and a concrete powder. So we're going to go down for about four concrete powders this way. So let's do another one. And then we'll do another one just here. So we need to go for a red wall just 
under there, and then a red wall, concrete powder. So one, two, three, four, like so. Brilliant. Now on this side, I'm pretty sure the shoulders are the exact same. Let's just go ahead and do this. So we'll go to the second block back. We want to stick a concrete powder here. We can't have it floating, so a red wall goes underneath. Concrete powder. Then we'll do a concrete powder just under the red wall. So we place another red wall a block away. And there we have that. Then we want to go ahead and stick ourselves a red wall. Concrete powder. A red wall is going to go temporarily down there. Concrete powder in there. Keep the red wall down here now. Go ahead and go to the next part. Red wall, concrete powder. So we have three so far. We're going to make this to four as well, just so then we can continue. So we'll go ahead and add in ourselves red wall here and concrete powder on top. So we have a bit of an, <laughs> an odd shape on that side. That's all good. We can actually do the same on the uh, as the opposite side. So for the back just here, I'm going to let you guys do this on your own because it is basically the same as the front. It is pretty much the same. However, we're going to start with red wall here and here. Red wall, red wall, red wall, red wall. Then you just go ahead and alternate these to reach the exact same height as the front just here. So this block just here. Okay, guys, you got this. Go for it. Okay, then, guys, so you've done an awesome job with this back just here. You just want to make sure it lines up nicely with the front here and the neck. I wasn't making a mistake when I said that, although I thought I was myself. <laughs> that was definitely on point. If you haven't done that already and you've kind of been a bit careful and gone with this one, that is all good. If you just want to make sure it goes a layer above the sides now, then uh, we can move on to the next step. Let's take ourselves some of these materials here. And we're going to need to go ahead and sort of make sure this is all good just around here. So we're going to use ourselves a concrete powder here and a red wall just here. Then we'll do ourselves red wall, concrete powder. You know, simple, simple, simple. Concrete powder, red wall, concrete powder, red wall. Just to connect the sides up diagonally a little bit there. Now we can work on the uh, shoulders here on the back and sort of build end to end for the arms and connect in the middle. It's much easier this way. So let's go to this red wall here. And don't even worry, it's going to be the same. I think I've made a little bit of a pattern mistake on my original one. Uh, so it's probably going to be a little bit joined up in certain segments. But as long as we have the right shape going for our arms, it won't look too bad at all. Let's go for a red wall here. A uh, concrete powder on top. Let's do a red wall next to the red wall. And a concrete powder here. Then we're going to go ahead and stick a red wall here. Red concrete powder. A red wall just goes in here. So we need to sort of place a temporary one just there. Red concrete powder there. So we have four, four, like so. Then we need to build a five just next to it. So we'll go ahead and stick a red wall just in here. Concrete powder. Concrete powder is going to go underneath. So again, the temp red wood. Red wood. Red wall, <laughs> like so. That is four. Let's go ahead and build this down another block. It's going to need to be the first use of our barrier just here. So we'll stick a block there temporarily, a barrier, knock out the block, and stick your red concrete powder. Levitate in, in midair. Then we'll do red wall, concrete powder, red wall, concrete powder, and we stop just before reaching the fifth block up there. Now then, that is one side done. Let's go to the other one. So then this one should be a little bit easier because I don't think I've made a bit of a <laughs> pattern mistake on this side. Hopefully not. No, it's looking all good so far. Let's go ahead and stick red wall just here and here. Then some concrete powder. Then we want to stick some red uh, concrete powder just underneath of it, but we need to, of course, sort of suspend it in midair. So let's just check my dimensions a little bit here. Okay, we're going to have to put a barrier just in here. Then a concrete powder there. Then we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves a red wall just here. Gosh, I'm losing my voice. And then we'll do a uh, red concrete powder just here. Hang in there, voice. I need you for the rest of Christmas, at least. Oh, my word. <laughs> I have been filming, like, every day this week, and you can tell. Wow. Okay, let's go for another red wall just here. So as we did with the front, we've done four concrete powders. We're going to do red wall just here. Then we'll do a red wall here. Let's go ahead and stick a... Uh, let's go for a... Another concrete powder here, so we'll have to stick another barrier. So a temporary block, barrier, temp block out, concrete powder in. Red wall goes here. Then we want to stick ourselves a red wall down here. Concrete powder just in there. That is supposed to be two blocks away, by the way. It's all good. Then we'll stick ourselves a, another barrier underneath a temporary block here. With concrete powder on top. Red wall, concrete powder, red wall, concrete powder in there. 
like so. So this one's worth five blocks in total. This is only worth four. Yeah, that's looking all good. Okay, time to work on the 3D elements to these arms, and then we can work on Kevin's head. So we'll get an arm done at a time. Let's go around to the left one first of all. So actually Kevin's right uh, arm. And we're going to work on this one firstly, just to get it out of the way. Let's go up here to the shoulder, and we're actually going to build this in line with the top of the uh, torso. So we'll do a rebel here, and one here. Concrete powder there. Then we need to do ourselves a rebel here, and there. Concrete powder. Then we want to do a head, uh, ourselves <laughs> a um, rebel here and there, concrete powder. And you know what's next? Rebel, rebel, concrete powder, like so. So you've got four of these different kind of dimensional things. Then we're going to drop down under this one and stick rebel in here with a concrete powder. And we have a sort of shape going here now. So we've got three blocks just here and four blocks just here exposed. Here we'll stick ourselves rebel coming out for one and two, like so. Underneath of it we need to stick a temporary block with a barrier. And then knock out the temp block and stick concrete powder in there like so. Then just next to this uh, barrier block here to the right, stick a temporary block and then stick a barrier underneath of it. Concrete powder goes on this one. Then we'll do red wall here, here. Concrete powder, concrete powder. Red wall, red wall, concrete powder. Then we'll do a rebel here and a concrete powder just there. So we've got a bit of a, uh, a wheel going on here. No uh, wheel assassin pun in there, too, unfortunately. Then we'll stick ourselves a rebel here. That was not rebel. Let's just remove that. <laughs> a rebel in here and a rebel just here to stick a concrete powder just there. Then I'm going to close up this arm by adding in myself just four, well, a total of four, a uh, rebel in here. Now below is going to be the rest of the hand, so I'm just going to move myself onto the inside in a second. Just want to double check the outside though. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Okay, so the underside, we want to go ahead and add in ourselves just some blocks off of this too. So we need to make this too a little bit more prominent for the front and the back sides. So we're going to go ahead and add in some red wall just here, here and here. Then we need to do a concrete in here, so I'm just going to do myself a temporary block there, barrier, red concrete powder, red wall just here, I need to do another temporary block here, drop down for a barrier, concrete powder, red wall here, and a concrete powder goes in this one, so again, temporary block, barrier, knock out, concrete powder, in like so. Again, not ultra important, but if you are a bit concerned about, you know, keeping your pattern the whole way around the build, then it's worth doing it underneath as well. Then we'll go for a red wall just in here. We need to do a barrier here and one just here. Concrete powder, red, concrete powder. Then we'll do red wall, red wall, concrete powder, concrete powder, red wall. And then we're just going to close up the arm by literally adding in red wall, barrier, and concrete pow powder. Like so. <laughs> awesome. So we just close it up with two blocks in there like so. Now it doesn't look the best but um, to be honest when it's like the whole build is here and you've got like the BB gun that takes your entire attention doesn't you don't really look at the armpit so you know it's not really gonna be too big a worry there but that's all good and then we'll just go ahead and stick a concrete powder on this one and finally add in Kevin's hand Kevin's hand goes for stripped birch wood for one two and three drop down on the end one for one and come out forward on this top one for one then you want to add in yourself one block here and then one two and then one two just like so cool you might even be able to add in yourself another block round here just for an element of a finger and uh, you can sort of knock out these two now if you want to as well not the most important things because we do add in again the BB gun in amongst this hand so if you want to drop back next to this area up in here you might want to just go ahead and stick them back actually just looking at it yeah like so and you can sort of bring it forward later on and stuff like that we'll work around it when we get onto the bb gun but for now let's get onto the other arm all right so for the right arm or if we were looking from kevin's perspective his left arm we are going to go ahead and start with a nice and simple walls up here we're going to go for one two like so then we'll go for two more walls in here uh, red, red concrete powder red wall red wall two more under here red concrete powder two more red balls in here concrete powder 
red wall, like so. Then I'm going to knock out this one, and I'm going to build a block down here, just a block away, and add in red concrete powder in there. Now we have three exposed blocks here, and two just here. Now we're going to drop down to this one, and we're going to add in ourselves two, ah, two red walls, <laughs> not concrete powders, man. <laughs> and we're going to bring out the bottom one for one. Then we'll stick red concrete powder on the top of that one, just like so. Then from it we'll build red wall here, concrete powder in that gap to cover up the little hole. Down we need to add in a concrete powder here, so we'll drop in a red wall, then knock out that one and stick it in. Then we're going to stick ourselves a barrier that needs to go here, so we'll add in ourselves a temp block, barrier, our uh, concrete powder, red wall, concrete powder, red wall like so. Then we're going to stick a barrier just next to the concrete powder, and a more concrete powder goes here and then red wall on top. Then we'll do ourselves a red wall and a concrete powder goes here, so we can actually add in ourselves that full lot of wool in here, then your concrete powder can sit nicely up there. Sweet, that is the outside of it done very, very quickly. That's awesome. Let's move on to the inside, the inner arm. So then down here, we're gonna go from these two again and use these as our starting sort of position. We'll go ahead and add in ourselves one Ah, red wall. One, two, three, red wall. My mistake, guys. <laughs> like so. And then you want to add in yourself a temporary block here to place a barrier just next to it. Knock out that one. Concrete powder in this one. Uh, red wall is going to go for... Ooh, let's just do. Just try and keep the pattern going. So let's go for a temp block. Barrier. Knock out that one. Concrete powder. Red wall. Red wall. Temporary red wall block with a barrier underneath for the concrete powder in there. Now we have ourselves four coming off of the two, like so. Now then closest to the actual body, we're gonna go for a red wall just in here. We need to do a barrier here and here. Concrete powder, red wall, concrete powder. Then up from it, we'll do a red wall, red wall, concrete powder, concrete powder, red wall. Then in this little gap, red wall, barrier, and finally concrete powder. Just double check that's in line with your other armpit, which it is, that's all good. Just make sure there's no holes, and then you should be good to go. That is looking good to go, to be honest. And here we're just going to add in ourselves concrete powder like so. Wicked. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we should grab some new materials. Keeping ourselves our stripped birch wood. But I'm going to grab some new materials for both hands, and then we'll work on the head in a minute. Awesome. So let's fix up this arm over here, and this hand holding the BB gun. Let's go ahead and take ourselves some stripped birch wood again. Some blocks of iron some spruce wood planks, and some spruce wood stairs. Let's go to just in this little gap here, where we added in the sort of fingers in this gap. I'm going to knock these two off, like so. I'm going to take myself and my iron, and I'm going to connect them to the hand, just in that space like that. Then I'm going to go to the other side of this, and I'm going to build two more fingers just in here and here. Then I'm going to take blocks of iron here for two, underneath for one, and on top for one. I'm going to go to this space and I'm going to build up for about five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to build three on this side towards the left. Awesome. I'm going to drop back down this way and add in another block. Uh, oh no, we're actually going to start with our spruce wood planks. We'll go for three on the bottom of this iron one. One, two, three. And stick in a spruce wood stair going this way. Then we'll stick one, two, three, four, five blocks of spruce and then we can actually stick in a slab under here if you want to as well. Not really the most detailed thing but uh, just adds a little bit of a stumpy end to the end of the, the sort of um, rifle, well BB, you know what I mean, the rifle BB, <laughs> BB rifle, there we go. Then we're going to take ourselves some blocks of iron again, we'll go for one, uh, let's go for two and then on the second one we'll start some spruce wood for one, two, three. Then we'll make the iron go up for those two more. Then we'll do a cluster of four up here. And then one block to the right like so. Awesome. That hand is now completed. Let's work on the other one. So for this hand over here, you take yourself some bir uh, stripped birch wood again. Some polished andesite stairs. Polished andesite. Polished andesite slabs. Some iron bars. Some blocks of iron. And finally some blast furnaces as well. Let's start with our stripped birch wood and build in this cluster of four, out for a cluster of four. Then we'll add in a block here, 
then we'll add in a block of polished andesite here and here. Then on this side, we want to go ahead and add in ourselves the rest of the fingers, just for one, two, like so. Next, you want to go back to this way, and we're going to add in ourselves a couple stairs, but they're going to be a little bit awkward to place. So we'll have to build polished andesite temporarily in here, and then two more this way. Knock out the two in the middle, add in an upside down stair here, and a normal stay, stair just there for the handle. Then we'll do a stair here, and an upside down one just below. We'll do a block of andesite on both sides, with a stair this way, and an upside down stair below. Then we're going to do ourselves two blocks on both ends. And then we want to take ourselves uh, a upside down stair just about here, and just about here, with one connecting on both sides like so. So then we'll do ourselves another upside down stair in the middle just here, slap bang in the center. We'll come out on the sides for this one here for one, two, three, and about four blocks. And then we're going to stick a stair this way. One, two, three, four on this side and a stair that way. We'll do four again with blocks and then a stair, four again, then a stair. Then we're going to bring two stairs down here and add in ourselves four blocks two stairs here and four blocks. Then we'll do two upside down stairs, two upside down stairs, and then on the front side, you can sort of cut this out in a second to make our iron. On the top, add in yourself two slabs forward, knock out the andesite here and here, excuse my voice, <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and stick iron here, 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 blast furnaces for three, iron goes in a bit of a plus sign like so, then blast furnaces for two more. The final detail for this iron is go ahead and take some iron bars, makes sense, and go ahead and wrap these in a coil sort of shape just below. So we'll go a block down, we'll go a block here, and we sort of want to build this backwards into a bit of a uh, sort of coily shape. So I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go to the right, then this way, drop it down, this way, and then so on and so forth. So like drop it down, this way, back this way, drop it down. So basically before you're about to connect, just go ahead and drop it down. So uh, then we'll go for downwards, that way, downwards until you reach about, you want about one, two, three, four, five of these different sort of coily shapes. So we've got one, two, three, um, we've got about uh, four, and then we'll do a fifth one down here. Five like so. Cool, and then we'll just go ahead and turn this around. Dropping down by one more. Oops. Like so, and then drop this cable down a little bit more. It's a little bit awkward because the iron bars are so skinny, but you just want to make it look like the cable has been ripped out and he's just kind of using a bit of a dud iron. But there we go, and we just bring this one down slightly more so it looks a bit more natural. And then about out a bit more there we go come away from it and it should look like a cable <laughs> which does that is looking awesome now let's finally work on kevin's head and we can call it a day so finally for kevin's head we take ourselves some stripped birch wood some black concrete some birch wood stairs some birch wood slabs and some birch wood planks let's go ahead and go to the sides first of all and we're going to build the sides of this pot vinyl because it is a little bit easier and then we can sort of connect in the front so we're going to go ahead and take our stripped birch wood first, and we're going to go on these four blocks. We'll go ahead and stick four blocks here. Don't worry too much about your texture, but if you are a bit concerned about it going in different directions like this, you can always change it up afterwards. For now, make sure you go out on both sides, one on the back and two out the front. Then we'll go up and we'll go out of the front, and we'll go here just to match up to the back. Then we'll do a third layer matching up to uh, both sides. Then on our fourth layer, we want to go ahead and add in our first lot of ear. First lot of ear? <laughs> our first ear even. So we go three blocks back, and on four and five, you add in two. You leave three on the back. Then we'll add in two again, and then we'll do an entire row up here, like so. Next, you want to go ahead and add in yourself another row of these, and we'll start to build our hair. So we'll take our uh, birchwood slabs, uh, planks, sorry, We'll go ahead and do all the way up to a block past the ear, towards the front. 
Then we'll do a stair just here upside down and we'll do a slab just here. Then we'll do ourselves a block with a slab on top. Then we'll do two blocks with a slab on top. One, two, three blocks like so. I'm going to switch this slab at the front for a stair like so. Here I'm going to do myself, uh, let's go for one, two, three blocks just here and then we'll do a, let me just check this. Just want to make sure I'm getting this all right. I'll be right back guys, I'm going to go double check. So I was getting a bit carried away, it's going to be three blocks above the ear and then a slab on top. Then we'll do one, two, three more blocks just here. So you have four blocks above the ear on this one. Then we'll do ourselves one, two again to match up to this one with a slab on top. Then we'll do another one of these with a slab and then we'll just finish it up with two more blocks on the end, like so. One side of the head is now completed. Let's run around to this side. So again, the exact same head shape, on along the four, out the back for one, out the front for two, like so. Another exact layer of this, but out the front for one more. Then we'll do our third layer. No more blocks on both sides. Then on our fourth layer is where we start the ear. Remember we go three blocks back, one, two, three, on four and five, leaving three at the back. Add in two, and then go ahead and add in your row back here. Add in another row above the ear, and then we'll start to build our hair. Taking our planks, we'll go along to just past the ear. Then a block, uh, sorry, a stair upside down here, with a slab in front of it. Then we'll do an entire row of blocks, like so. Then up this end, we want to go ahead and add in ourselves a normal stair just here. We'll do a block behind it, a block here with a slab on top. Then we'll do two blocks here, a block here with a slab on top, so that is still three blocks towards the ear. Then we'll do two more blocks, then we'll do a block and a slab, and then we're going to do just a normal slab here. You could use it as a stair if you want to, but I'm going to keep mine a slab just there. Perfect. Now then we'll go around the back and do the back as well. So we're going to go ahead and build out a block on both of these and all the way along. So it goes out a block from the torso. We'll build up to the same block height on these ones because the hair all the way around is kind of like a bowl cut. So we're going to make it sure, making sure on the back here it's pretty much the same all the way around. So we'll do birch wood planks all the way around connecting them on diagonal corners. On the corners you can actually go for two planks and then a slab. And then on this side we'll do ourselves, yep, exactly the same, like so. Here we'll add in one, two more planks, so we have three on the back. Then we'll do ourselves one, two with a stair on top. Then I'll do one, two, three blocks. Two more blocks here with the slab. One, two, three blocks. Two blocks with a slab. Then I'm going to go for one, two, three, then one, two, slab, and then this end one, we'll do one block and then a slab on top, like so. So it kind of connects to the, the sort of corner there. Wicked. So for the front, let's go ahead and make Kevin himself by taking ourselves stripped wood, stripped birch wood, building this one along to connect to the side, and then build it forward. Now we'll go ahead and build this up to the height of the blocks even a little bit past it after this just so we can add in the fringe and it won't be just kind of abyss behind it <laughs> we definitely want to add in some uh, details of skin there like so so let's firstly start with our eyes we're going to go for two blocks in and we're going to go for three blocks up so one two one two three and then one two three four just like so then we'll leave a space away one two three one two to make a cluster of four here, so diagonally down by a block, add in a nose, then add in your eyes with black concrete, like so. Then we start to build our fringe. So we're going to go just to here, this block here, diagonally to the right of this eye, and the slab. Go to here and add in an entire row of stripped birch wood. Go to the diagonal of this one and add in an upside down stair, a slab here and upside down stair facing towards the original Kevin. Then we'll come down here and add in slabs all the way along for one, two and three over the eye. Then another stair goes here. Oops, upside down. Like so. 
Let me zoom out so you can see that. Please bear in mind you can pause at any point you need to guys. We're adding ourselves two more planks up this way with a slab on top. And I'll do two more planks here. I'll do two more planks here with a slab on top. Oops. There we go. I'll do one, two, three more planks here. Then I'm going to go for a couple planks with stairs on top. So one, uh, let's go for two. Then I'm going to go for three. And then I actually might do some slabs on top of this one. So yeah, let's do some slabs. So then I'll just match up again. Again, until I have about four of these slabs. Like that. Then we start to drop down with the stair just here. And then we're going to do an upside down stair below it. Just like so. We have a little gap here, so we need to add in another layer of stripped birch wood in here. We can always knock out that side and add in hair if we need to, so don't worry about that one. Over here, add in yourself a slab here and one here. Then we'll go ahead and add in ourselves a, just looking at this, making sure everything's looking okay. I'm going to do myself another stair here, upside down, make this one into a block, and then we're going to go ahead and add this into one block here like so with another stair just here and then on this one I think it could be a stair it is you can't really tell from a picture so just gotta zoom across there and check so another stair just there then we add in hair behind this Whew, phew but that is looking awesome let's finish up Kevin for today let's go over here and add in a birch wood plank with a stair on top add in here a birch wood plank with a slab on top and here you want to do two planks, like so. Here, add in the plank behind the slab. Then add in yourself a uh, plank here with a slab below, like so. Then we'll do a plank, a block. Then we'll do a slab on top of this one. We'll do a block just here and a block just here. Then we'll do a block with a slab on top. Cool. And I'm not really sure at the end there, so I'm just going to go around this way. We're going to go ahead and add in ourselves, <clears throat> excuse my throat, plumbing some slabs along here. Sounds like I'm crying when I'm not. <laughs> Let's go over here and add in ourselves a block just behind that one with a slab on top. Then we're adding ourselves a, another block here. Then we'll do ourselves here. It's a little bit awkward. We need to add in ourselves a slab just about there. So it kind of angles down as you can see. But we need to make sure all of these look unique. So we're going to add in a slab, slab, and a slab. On this one, you can add in a plank, just replacing, with a stair on top. Then we'll do one, two, th three, and four. And a fifth block just there, with a slab on top. And another slab just there. A block goes here, with a slab and a slab, like so. Then we're going to build slabs all the way along to just be there and then around here we're going to add in ourselves a block here with a slab and a slab so two blocks <laughs> that's all good then a slab and a slab like so now around the side here I'm going to go double check and I'll be back so it's a bit easier to teach from the back first and then sort of connect in the middle as we did for the arms so here we'll go for one two oh I'm using the slabs that's why it's taking forever one two blocks like so and then we'll do a slab on top of this one. Here we'll go for one, two blocks with a slab on top. Then we'll do a slab block here. And one just behind that stair. Like so. So behind the stair just here, we actually want to go for building it just a little bit over by ending another one just like so. Then we want to go ahead and go to this one behind the slab block and build a normal block here with a slab on top. Then we'll add in block, 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 slab in that little gap. That is all good to go, except for one slab that goes just here, like so. Then I'm gonna bring myself this one back for two. This one, oh, crumbs. One, two, three, four blocks back. This one, one, two, three, four, five blocks back. This one, you can see where this is going six blocks back and then again for six then this one again I think it's six again so we have three lots of these six then we're going to start to go back in 
So we'll go back in for the fifth one there. And we'll actually go to one, two, three blocks there. So three slabs just there, like so. Now we just need to tear up to that little kind of angle there. So we'll do planks, 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 like so. A plank in that one there. A slab in that one just there. Then we need to go for block with a slab underneath. Then we'll do a plank, plank with a slab underneath. Plank again. And then we start to get to this corner around here. So we're going to go for, again, a strange sort of thing. So I'm going to knock out that plank and the slab with a plank behind it. A slab goes this way. We'll do a block behind that slab. Then we'll do a slab in this gap with a block underneath for two. In this gap, we'll do one, two blocks with a slab on top. Block in that little gap. Block in here. Slab block here. Block here. And then we'll do a block just there with a slab on top. Then here we'll do a block. And then we'll do slabs for three with a slab in that gap just like so. Whew, that was really tricky for that roof there. Roof? <laughs> Kevin's hair, I mean. Wow. But then when you zoom out, it should look like Kevin, which is awesome. Wow, that was a long tutorial. Wicked. We did it really well. Well, there you have it, guys. That is how to build Kevin from Home Alone in uh, Minecraft as a pop vinyl. So thank you so much for watching this Wheel Assassin build. I really, really do appreciate it. I am so sorry that it was very, very long and probably quite daunting in certain sections. But like I said, feel free to uh, rewind if you need to, uh, pause in sections you need to, and uh, definitely ask me any questions down in the comments below. Uh, I'm more than happy to try and help you guys out, so please definitely give me that opportunity to uh, try and see if I can help you at least. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like. And if you are a Home Alone fan and you haven't checked out my uh, fully furnished Home Alone mansion towards this direction, please go ahead and check it out. It is an entire mini-series uh, on my channel. Well, I'm going to say it's a big series because it is a very, very big series, but it's entirely detailed on the inside. You can see Buzz's room just there. Another little room back there. Oh, that's Buzz's room again. <laughs> that's another room back there. And the attic even has a room up here as well. So you can see sort of Kevin's bed up there. So um, yeah, it's crazy. Really, really loads of details and you may enjoy that one too. So please go and check it out. I'll drop a link to it in the description so you can uh, get over there and get building that one too. Um, but yeah, please drop a like, like I said. And if you are interested in staying tuned for future Christmas and uh, well, any tutorial, please consider joining the Assassin Hood for free by hitting that subscribe button. That'd be wicked. Check me out on my social medias too, guys, if you could. And I am going to head off before my throat just decides to give up because I really need it for more videos this Christmas. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Have an excellent rest of your day, even Christmas if I don't see you before then. Thank you so much once again. Take good care. Stay safe. Goodbye for now, Assassins.